Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. Uh, today I am headed to get my nails done. I have an appointment at 11 o'clock. I had an appointment on Thursday, then I canceled it because Brian and I are leaving Thursday. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get my nails done before we leave. So she's squeezing me in today at 11. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna be there forever. I love my early morning nail moments, nail, nail hour, I guess you can call it. I love going in the mornings when there's like nobody there, it's nice and quiet, I don't have to wait. But I do have an appointment, so hopefully I won't have to wait at all. So. Um, but I've already made it my bed. I've taken a shower. I've done my makeup. I'm just letting my hair air dry a little bit. And um, I always like to let my hair air dry just for a little bit um, before I go actually blow dry it. Because if I don't, it takes forever to blow dry. So I just kind of let it air dry a little bit. I have it pinned back a little bit um, with a clip. Um, that's usually how I put my makeup on is you just pull it back. And then um, just let this part air dry. Like I said, it just takes so forever if I don't. So um, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the living room, like fold up the blankets, fluff the couch or whatever, and then I'm gonna take the dishes out of the dishwasher and put the new ones in the dishwasher. So um, I actually started my dishwasher kind of late last night. So um, my dishwasher, you know, did its cycle. I think it was like done at like 10.30 last night. So um, I have to take those out and put the ones that we used up yesterday in the dishwasher. So that is what I'm going to do while I let my hair air dry. And I thought I would let you guys hang out with me and clean clean the house with me you guys want to do that you guys yeah let's go clean one. to go it's about 10 o'clock in the morning I have a few errands that I'm gonna run uh, prior to me getting my nails done this being one of them a posh order I've had some really good success on my posh market which I'm very very happy about I have a bunch of clothes that I'm gonna be putting on there for Brian um, he had cleaned out his closet the other day so I'm gonna put some of his things on there um, I also have which I'll show you guys hold on uh oh battery um, all of these pillows that are on top of my car are getting ready to go uh, take them to the Goodwill. So I'm going to put these in my trunk and Ready away we go. So I just dropped off those pillows and stuff at the Goodwill. It feels so good to like donate things and know that somebody else could be using them or somebody else could need them. It just feels nice to do all that. That's why I like... I like donating them to Goodwill or taking things to a um, like a woman's shelter if women need things. So I like to do that. So yes, yes, that feels good. It feels. It seems like I should be have been making a dent or something in my stuff at home, but it just seems like no, I'm not making a dent at all. But I think it's just like with like small portions because I keep doing just like small sections and trying to eliminate what I can in small sections. And I actually, there's stuff by the, yeah, I forgot to bring some other stuff too. I, I left it by the front door. Oh well, another day. Um, but so I got rid of those. So that's nice. Now I'm going to go to Lowe's and return the, uh, I have four uh, knobs that I did not need for my kitchen. So I'm going to go return those at Lowe's and then I'm going to stop off all oh, my posh, drop off the PO box stuff. And then, um, I got to go to the bank and get cash for my tip because what's so funny is because I use my credit card or whatever, they don't allow you to go over on your credit card. So 
um, I can't get cash out and then last time I was there I tried to get cash out from the ATM that they have in there how convenient right um, there's an ATM in there and it wasn't working so their ATM machine wasn't working like the guy hadn't come serviced it yet so I couldn't give them a tip which I felt horrible so I just got to like make a mental note which I actually put it on my phone for my appointment um, every appointment now I say bring cash so I can tip them so because I was I always feel horrible when I can't tip them but if I don't tip them like one week I'll make sure that I like double it the next week so like I'll give them like a double tip tip from last visit tip from this visit you all know what I'm talking about right <sighs> and then if I can get my body to cool down I feel so much better but my body just right now is on fire the girl is on fire um, I'm like Katniss Everdeen the girl on fire that is what my life is like right now with this stinking menopause. I am the girl on fire. Whew. Ladies. Okay, so I'm excited about Florida this weekend. I am so excited. I cannot wait. I just want to like relax on the beach. I want to get in the water. I want to soak up the sun. I want to enjoy visiting with my son um i'm excited to see hopefully i will be able to see um sandy and Susie. hi guys i hope that i'll be able to see them this weekend even if it is for just a little while i hate that our visits with with them are cut so short um but that's just kind of i that's they understand too though but that's just the way that it is because obviously i'm busy with you know my son and visiting and, and stuff like that but i really want to visit with them too because i really love those ladies Mm -hmm. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you. Um, so on um, last night was my brother's gender reveal party. They are having a girl. So we are very excited and happy that my brother and his wife are finally having a baby. I don't know. I think James and Kristen, I don't know how long they've been married, quite honestly. 10 years maybe? I'm not really sure. Um, but they've been together for a long, long time prior to that. But I think married for 10. I could be wrong. But I know that's been pretty close to that. But anyway, um, so yeah, they're having a baby girl. And uh, that was nice. So I'm very, very excited about that. And um, there's um, uh, another baby that was born today. Another cousin of ours had a baby. Um, she had another, she had a girl as well. This is their first baby. So I'm excited for them as well. Because everybody just loves a baby, right? We just love having babies. I don't like having babies anymore. I'm, I'm not having babies, but I just like enjoy, you know, shopping for the babies now, which is so exciting. So, yay, babies. Uh, I got my brother. I forgot to show you guys that. Maybe I'll have to pull that out a little bit later, and I'll show you guys the little outfits that I already got my brother the other day prior to me knowing that it was a girl. So, I'm very excited. Very excited. Okay, I'm going to go to Lowe's because I'm rambling. And, yeah, I'll talk with you guys a little bit Alrighty, later. guys. So, now that I'm back home from getting my nails done, nothing fancy again. Same thing, just the little tips. And then my toes are black. I'll show you guys. Um, my toes, black. So, yay for toes that are black. Um, <clears throat> so, basically what I'm going to do now is finish... Um, getting some stuff done around here. Obviously, I have to start packing for our trip. We are leaving Thursday, so I have to start getting some of that stuff out. It's like every single time I put a suitcase away, I seem to have to pull the suitcase out. Yeah, so, I mean, not a bad thing. It's just an annoying thing. I have to do it, like, all the time. Let me just say this, too, though. So, I am also, that fan's probably going to be, like, you can hear wind blowing. Um, so, this weekend, obviously, is our trip to Pensacola, Florida. Then we'll be back for two weeks, two, three weeks, two weeks, two or three, anyway. And then on September 8th, I'm leaving to go to Tennessee, um, stay the night at my mom's house, and then my mom and I are going on a little road trip, um, September 9th through whatever. I mean, we're just kind of play it by ear that week. We don't have to stay gone the entire week. Um, but we are going to go to Graceland, which I'm super excited about. I've already booked the hotel. Um, we're going to be staying at um, 
this Elvis hotel that's right there by Graceland, which is the brand new hotel, which is super nice. I'm excited about that. So my mom and I are gonna stay there. Um, we're gonna tour Graceland. We're gonna go down Beale Street. We're going to um, do the Martin Luther King um, site, the museum and everything, the Civil, Civil Rights Museum there. And then um, from there, we're gonna make our way to St. Louis and spend a couple days in St. Louis. So um, that is where my mom was actually born and raised until she met my dad at the ripe old age of 15. Um, my mom was born and raised there, so she still has family there. Sadly, both of her sisters, her mother and her father are all deceased. Um, her, her dad, my grandfather, died when I was like two years old. Um, and then my her mom died oh, several years ago. Um, and then her sister died a couple years ago. And then her other sister. Now, how do I remember this sister's um, death passing? Uh, it was because it was right after I got married to Brian. So um, her other sister died in January of 04. So, um, so sadly, my mom does not have any, um, like siblings up there, but she does have her nieces and nephews. So we're hoping to, um, connect with some of them, which are my cousins. So, um, we're going to just tour around St. Louis a little bit. Um, I doubt if I go up in the arch, I've been wanting to go, um, up in the arch. Brian and I went up there several years ago. I took my boys there several years ago. I don't, we did not go up in the arch with the boys, um, but I did take the boys there several years ago as well. Um, but honestly, we haven't been back since, and it's probably been 2000 and, oh my goodness, six, five or six since I've been actually back to St. Louis. So I'm gonna say six or seven. Oh, five or six one of the two anyway that was the last time I've been there um, so it's gonna be nice to you know hang around st. Louis my mom and I have a few things on our on our bucket list that we want to go do so I'm looking forward to spending a couple of days on the road with my mom um, and possibly some heavy liquor as well but anyway <laughs> no I love my mom um, but nonetheless I'm excited about that then after that We'll come back in September, and then um, it'll be countdown to our cruise, which is in October. And then, <clears throat> prior to the cruise, we have another trip. Like, Brian's parents are going to be here the last week of September. And then, um, we're all going to Pensacola again um, the weekend of October 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, Brian's mom and dad, us, are going to... Pensacola again for that weekend and then um, the 6th or the 7th and the 8th we're going to be in Mississippi um, in Gulfport where my son is at so hopefully he'll be with us the entire weekend but we're going to be going back to Gulfport with him um, for a car show and stuff that's going to be going on that weekend so a lot of stuff going on a lot of trips planned um, a lot of things um, you know I'm looking forward to and then after we get back from that Pensacola trip with Brian's mom and dad, they're gonna head home and then we'll come back home and then the next weekend is our um, trip to, a trip on the cruise, so I'm excited about that. So I'm, I'm excited about everything. Um, but it's gonna like fly by. I mean, it's already flying by. So, <clears throat> and it's so funny. So like this weekend we're staying in Margaritaville again and then when we go back at the end of September, first week of October, we're staying at Margaritaville again. <laughs> So it's been like quite the Margaritaville year for us. So it's been really nice though. But um, I wanted to show you guys too something that um, I picked up at Kirkland's um, yesterday. I really didn't share anything with you guys because it wasn't anything like major. I just kind of knew I would share it with you guys once I got it like hung up and whatever. But um, okay, so this is what I picked up yesterday at Kirkland's. I'm actually going to sell this clock. It's actually on the for sale thread right now. So I'm selling the clock. I'm getting rid of it. And then I'm going to hang these up on both sides of the TV here. So I'm going to hang these up right here. Um, or actually I'm going to have Brian hang them up. So yeah, you guys can see that right there. So I'm going to hang one up over here and then one up over there. And then um, I have this pretty little sign that says it's going to fall that says I love you um, today yesterday and every tomorrow so I'm going to put that up above the TV right here so that's where all of this is going to go um, very very happy about all that and then of course like I said I'm going to I'm getting rid of that I'm just going to get one of those um, clocks 
that I have hanging out here um, like this. So I'm gonna get another one of these and just hang it in the bedroom right next to that as well. So that'll look really nice. Um, yeah, just kind of downsizing, getting rid of some things, changing them, some things up. Um, obviously, I've been like slowly working on our bedroom and pulling it together and stuff. So um, I think that's going to be a really nice um, completion um, look when it's done. So did, I, did that make sense? It's going to look really nice when it's complete. Yeah, I think I screwed that up. But you guys knew what I meant. So um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get busy. I'm going to get some stuff done. And I'll talk with you guys a little bit later. Um, I know I've shared this with you guys before, but this is kind of like a little snack that I um, make when I'm kind of like, you know, busy and doing things throughout the house. It's so easy and so simple. If you guys have this at your store, I can find this at Kroger. This is just uh, Mrs. Campbell's Chow Chow. It is so good. You can put this on hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. Uh, I add some cream cheese to a Ritz cracker, and this is what it looks like. And then you just eat it, and it is so freaking good. The combination of it is just, it's so just wonderful. I love it. Um, I had the neighbor girl a couple years, like last year or something tried it, and she's like, uh, yeah, this is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys need to try this, and when you do, let me know what you guys think. Okay, back to clean. Alrighty, so Bye. this is the little three-piece set that I got my brother and his wife for the new baby. Um, obviously, this is before I knew they were having a girl, so I tried to get like a neutral color, but this will be just fine for a little girl. So isn't it just the cutest little thing? I love it. I think it's a... What year? Three months? Oh, there's no, it's three. Oh, it's six to nine months right there. Um, and there's three little play sets. And it was six forty nine or six forty eight at Target the other day. So I picked that up and then I know somebody else who's having a baby. Um, and this is gonna be a little gift that I give them as well. So this little outfit and then this little guy, he's so cute. Isn't this the cutest little thing? I'm gonna have a uh, fun time just shopping for baby stuff right now because I love shopping for baby stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. But um, anyway, so I just um, put some stuff in my closet, cleaned some of the stuff out of my closet. I found three more purses that I'm gonna be putting on Posh for sale. Um, so yeah, I've kind of been a little bit busy in here. Now my phone's blowing up. Already, that, that was is. my brother. Um, he was, and my niece. Um, but anyway, I um, also got a Grove package in the mail as well, which is a Grove collab. I will leave a link in the description box below if you guys want to sign up. You guys get $10 off your first order, and plus I get a little something something if y'all sign up. So, um, first thing that I, oh, I wanted this, this this month, so I ordered it, um, but if you spent like a certain amount, you got it for free, I think it was. But anyway, um, this is just the Grove collab little caddy that you can carry around like throughout your house when you're cleaning, and I just thought this was such a great little like bucket, and it's so cute because if I didn't want to use it for that, I just wanted to use it for decoration, obviously you can just turn it around, you can have like a nice little like bucket or pail, super cute. Um, the other thing that I got was, this is stain remover uh, the tack gun whatever it says anyways this is remove stubborn stains this I needed back uh, in July when we were in Illinois I got some ketchup like on a shirt Ooh, am I exposing some boob sorry um, I got a a little bit of ketchup on my navy blue and white striped dress and when I got, as soon as I got back to Brian's mom's house, I soaked it in some cold water, but I did not wash it because we were leaving like the next day. Um, and so I'm like, oh my God, I need some stain remover. And she didn't have any at the time. And I didn't have any because I never really carry any stain remover. Um, but I thought when I saw this, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to need some stain remover. So I picked up some stain remover. I'm assuming it's like a little roll on. Yeah, it's kind of like a little, it's got like little bristles right here. So it's like a roll on. I'm hoping it oh it smells nice um so i'm hoping that that i can this will work so it's supposed to be really good built-in stain fighting brush so good stuff um and then the other things that i picked up picked up the other things that i um ordered let me get all of these things out because i ordered quite a bit of them and these are for travel basically let me get that box out of the way okay so um 
you know, you kind of like to have some sani wipes when you're out and about or traveling or whatever. Um, anyway, so I got some free and clear wipes. These are for baby's face, bottom, and hands. I would probably never use these for both, probably just a face or bottom. But anyway, I like to keep these in my car. I've never tried the um, seventh generation wipes before, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I ordered four packages of them. Um, I'm gonna have, Brian likes to keep some in his truck. I keep some in my car. Um, obviously I keep it in like my little first aid um, travel thingy that I keep in my car because um, you never know when you're gonna need like wipies or to wipe down your hands or whatever so um, I'm gonna give these seventh generation wipes a try if you guys have ever tried these let me know because um, I'd be curious to know what you guys think but I thought it'd be really nice to have two with us when we are traveling um, since we're gonna be traveling a lot in the next couple of months just very very nice and handy to have around Another form of wipey, ladies, that um, I am going to try out. Again, these are from NatraCare. Um, these are supposed to, they're intimate wipes. So they're very intimate. Intimate wipes. Um, organic cotton wipes with organic rose. Mm, yeah so you know when you just don't feel so fresh sometimes or when you're really hot outside and you're sweating and you're walking around a lot um, and you just want to feel a little refreshed yeah I'm gonna keep one of these in my purse as well um, I picked up I picked up I ordered four of these so yes all of this stuff you can find on their website again I'll leave a description in the I'll leave a link in the description box below <laughs> so you guys can check that out if you're interested that is all that I ordered for from Grove Collab. It's been sitting here for like a week and I've been wanting to sit down and do a video and I just haven't done it yet. Um, now that I just did, yeah. So there you have it. And uh, I do have um, that right there, that little bucket plastic tote um, is the three purses that I'm gonna be putting on my Posh Market. I will not put those on right now because we are leaving on Thursday. So I will not have time to um, send that stuff out if I'm not home, so I will have it all posted and put out on Monday. So if you guys are interested in looking at some of my purses, you guys can go over to my Posh Closet. Link is below, and it is also on my Facebook page. Um, maybe it's not pinned at the top anymore because I put my Amazon up there. Hmm, not really sure, but nonetheless. All right, I also wanted to clean up my makeup area and get that cleaned up before I started getting my suitcases out. Um, but I think I'm going to skip that and do that next week once we get back. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to end up doing now is just ending the vlog here and getting this up and edited since it is two o'clock. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. And then I can pull my suitcases and stuff out and try to get some stuff packed up. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll bring you guys along with me tomorrow while we, while I pack and get some stuff situated. So, um, <coughs> That's it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time in Wonderland. Bye.